Morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you guys are all doing well. I'm back out here in the Tonto National Forest and the plan for today is I want to join a two meter single sideband net that starts at 8 a.m. local time out of Tucson, Arizona. I'm about maybe 35, 40 miles north of Phoenix. So it's gonna be a good distance. And I'll be playing again with the Pactena Trek Mount and uh, running about 20 watts. And uh, we'll see how we do today at elevation. I'm gonna be on a ridge line uh, called Ruin Ridge. And it's gonna be anywhere from about 3,100 to just shy of 3,400 feet of elevation. So I have hopes that uh, I'm gonna make some really good contacts on SSB and really enjoy that net. Um, outside of that, I have a few channel updates, but I'll leave those for the end. And uh, really, if you guys wanna just hang out and enjoy the Tonto National Forest with me, uh, sit back, grab a cup of coffee, a tea, whatever, and uh, we'll play some radio, do some hiking, See you guys up there. All right guys, just a kind of a random thought before I hit the, uh, the approach on this peak. All of that um, out there is Tonto National Forest. In fact, I'm very much on the, the southern tip, entered it from the southern tip. And uh, my problem out here in the Sonoran Desert is that I can't carry enough water for more than two days. So part of the plan for myself and hopefully for the channel is my wife and I are looking into getting a one or two donkeys, uh, putting it on the property, getting up to speed on everything involved there. And uh, yeah, I would say within the next one to maybe two years, uh, we could quite possibly be doing ham radio adventures deep, deep into Tonto with the donkeys and the tech prepper. Let me know what you guys think. Anybody have a donkey? Any tips would be great. I've got plenty of locals out here that are giving lots and lots of great advice. So I wanna make sure I fully plan that out before committing to it. Apparently they live like 30 years, so it's a really big decision to make. All right, enough talking, up the peak. All right guys, we made it on summit and uh, sorry about the wind, but uh, this ridge line is actually pretty cool. And like I said, I activated the peak over on that tippy top over there. And uh, as I was telling you, the house is like directly uh, south of me. And the trek was uh, about three miles. It took uh, about an hour and uh, 35 minutes to get up here. And I was not prepared for how steep it was gonna be. The funny thing was there's no trail, but uh, it wasn't really bushwhacking. It was just a lot of rock climbing and, and low brush. So that's a bonus. So, and someone set up, I don't know what the heck this is, like some kind of flag post with a pile of rocks. So I'm gonna set up my uh, station for the morning. We're gonna be up here for a couple of hours and I'll give you a station walkthrough before we start. Yeah. All right guys, I finally have the station set up. Not a whole lot of room to work on. Uh, first of all, the uh, Eberly Stock Fact Track, still amazing, still my favorite pack. I wish I had this years ago. I set up the, I think it's the Articus Tarp Shelter with the uh, reflective side out. I did bring the uh, uh, solar panels, but uh, the power film 20 watt panels, and I've got it all guyed out, uh, ready to go if I need to add power. I have two uh, 4.5 amp hour BioWena batteries, so I'm not gonna deal with that today. The uh, challenge with doing uh, shelters is that there's not a whole lot of room up here. So I had to be kind of MacGyver the setup here a bit. So as you can see here, uh, the inside is camo. We just made uh, some coffee, have some water. Uh, there's the coffee cup. And then I've got the uh, Yesu 857D with the TPA pack frame. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring this guy on the air. And then in terms of the uh, SSB setup, I've got George's uh, uh, pack tenet trek mount on the uh, top here. And I can actually rotate this by hand. Right now it is uh, facing uh, the Tucson area. And let me see if I can get a better shot without falling off the mountain. So that's what we're looking at. So guys, if you ever hear a portable dude, uh, let them through. It's a little bit of work to get up here and set up a station. Uh, but uh, yeah, I appreciate all you guys. So I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee and uh, fool around with the radio for a bit. And 
I'll have you guys join me when I start the uh, single sideband net. This is KT1RUN out of New River, Arizona. I'm on a peak operating man portable. If uh, anybody can copy, would you mind coming back to me? I am preparing my station for the 8 a.m. net. Are you in? The River 7 Victor Delta sounding good down here in Northeast Mesa. Oh, I appreciate the contact. Uh, can you go with your call one more time phonetically, please? Like I said, I'm up here on a peak and there's a bit of wind noise. Yeah, no problem. This is November 7 Victor Delta, Norway 7 Victoria, Denmark. Name's Robert. Over. All right. Thanks a lot, Robert. I uh, appreciate you uh, making the contact and confirming my station. Roger, roger. Thanks for the 5-6. You are coming in 5-9, Roger, roger. Thanks. Well, George, this Pactena uh, trek mount is freaking fantastic. Uh, let me pick up the uh, camera here. And again, this is my operating vantage point. And uh, kind of have the shot here. Kilo Tango 1 Romeo Uniform November Portable. Trying to get an early check in here, guys. Too many of you jumping in here once. I've got K1 IEB and KC7 KW so far. That's who I've got out of that big old pack of people there. So let's try it again. Kilo Tango 1 Romeo Uniform November Mountaintop Portable. I got KG7 XP and uh, KT1 question mark. Kilo Tango 1 Romeo Uniform November. Again, Kilo Tango 1 Romeo Uniform November Operating Portable. Yep, roger, roger. I'm on a hilltop, so if there's any way I could check in early, that'd be great. Yeah, roger, you're on the, the list there. Uh, you can go in and out if you want to. You can take your turn right now, over. Sounds great. Yeah, this is actually my first uh, time attending this one. I typically attend the uh, Tuesday nights. But uh, just a quick update. I'm out here in uh, New River, Arizona. I'm at 3,100 feet on a peak called Ruin Ridge, operating on a 4.5 amp hour battery running 20 watts on a Yaesu 857D with uh, a uh, small uh, vertically portal or horizontally polarized dipole sitting under a tarp shelter. Uh, back to you. Yeah, Roger. Okay, well, it's working good. I'm, uh, I'm out here Delta Mike 41, just south of Tucson, and I got a good copy on you. you uh, you're 5 and 9 here at Delta Mike 41. Um, uh, real nice signal. And uh, New River on a dipole, and how many watts you say, bud? Five? Uh, running 20 watts on a Yesu 857D using a uh, Pactena truck mount with two Comet BNC24 uh, whip antennas. Okay, very good. Well, 20 watts on that, yeah, that, that's uh, great. All right, uh, what's your name? Uh, the name here is uh, Gaston, and like I said, I'm new to the group, so uh, thanks for having me. Okay, Gaston. All right, good. We've got you, got you on the list here, and um, uh, we'll get your uh, information. Uh, so you're in New River right now. You're, you're mobile or portable, and you're doing mountain topping. Okay. All right, good. All right, guys. What was the... Uh fun day today. I uh, did a little bit of hiking, got on uh, the ridge here. It's not quite the activation spot. That's probably another 45-minute uh, trek. Uh, not going to do that today, but it was fun setting up the uh, tarp shelter for the first time this season. Uh, I am going to need it going into the summer months out here in New River, Arizona. The uh, Pactena trek mount on two-meter single sideband was a success. Um, I'm hoping all the video that I recorded uh, comes through. 
And then I just have two channel updates. Uh, first, I am working on a um, API and a web application and a set of tools that will run on a Raspberry Pi for doing field expedient emergency digital communications. I am documenting the entire development process on buymeacupofcoffee.com just because it's easy for me to post. I'm setting all the posts to public so you don't have to support me in any way. Um, and I think you can kind of subscribe and not support me so you get notified whenever I do a post. I'm going to try to do uh, two to three posts per week and just put updates on where I am on that project. So if you're interested in using your Raspberry Pi and controlling it with the phone to do things like very simple APRS messaging, uh, WinLink messages, uh, that's the project to, to follow. Again, completely free. And um, the other thing is on the YouTube ads. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on with YouTube changing their terms of service. I don't have all the details. And apparently, um, unless I'm mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, they're going to start uh, running ads against channels that are not uh, even monetized. So that's kind of unfair that they're not sharing any of the revenue to the content creators. So I turned off all monetization for new videos going back 10 videos ago um, or more. And I'm going to turn back on just the five second skippable ads. And the reason for that is if they're going to run ads against my content that I'm trying to make free, um, I'd rather be able to at least control it. So there won't, there shouldn't be any interstitials or end um, uh, videos. So let me know if there are. Again, um, I do apologize, but uh, I just don't like it when corporations like YouTube, for example, that um, are making really they're actually doing really well and they're kind of um, disenfranchising uh, the audience and the content creators who just want to make the content completely free. So if you don't like my approach, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do, but if you can bear with just the five seconds skippable ads, I'd appreciate it. And then again, if you want to track that project, don't send me any money, don't buy me any coffees. I'm just using it as a platform for me to post really quick um, write-ups uh, within like 30 minutes of my time a few times a week. All right, got to find my coffee. I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. I'm not sure why I keep on mangling it. Something's going on. All right, bye guys.